So welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, December 10th, 2020 for the commodities market and the precious metals market. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. So as you can see, we have been rallying the last four days, but these are not massive moves. We had one on Monday that was fairly massive and then broke down. We tried to rally it then again today and then broke down again. And it looks like we're just slowly heading towards the 20 exponential moving average. There are no major resistant areas around this area until we get to the 20 exponential. And if we are, if this is the rally that's going to try to cross the 20 and the 50, then that is most likely not going to happen. I think we're just going to trade sideways like this or on square upwards, up towards the 20 and then roll over and test these lower uh, levels again. If we look at technical indicators for uh, this, um, for the US dollar index, they are looking more bullish. So expect continuation towards the 20, but be a pay attention to this because it will affect gold, it will uh, affect uh, oil and so on. So there's a negative correlation between the US dollar index and other commodities indices and so on. So that's why it's a good idea to pay attention to this. Otherwise, there's a lot of noise in the market due to stimulus stocks, Brexit negotiation, and also the appreciation of the US dollar index. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have been all over the place today. Um, it is fairly untradeable at this point. If we get down towards the 20 exponential, that is roughly at $44, then it's possible to buy this up towards the very high here, or probably at 70, uh, 47, 50, uh, or to all the way to the 50. But that is a probably three, four weeks from now. Um, if you enter here, then a stop loss around this area here at the 42.81, that is the very lows here, that could be your stop loss if you target these highs. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas tried to rally today up towards 2.5 and then got rejected. At this point, we are almost certainly going towards the 200 moving average. This just is not working for natural gas. There just isn't that demand in the market at the moment to get this higher. So if we get colder weather uh, in the United States, then of course we can rally. But I think that 20 exponential would be a major hurdle to get through. If you can fall towards the 200 moving average and find major support there, then yes, that is possible to rally up towards the 200, no, 20 moving average at 2.7. That is a fairly good uh, trade and uh, most likely will be one I'm going to take. But at this point, it's a pure gamble just to trade this. We are in the middle of things. And so just wait until it falls towards the 20 or up uh, rallies up towards the, uh, to the 20, sorry, falls towards the 200 moving average or rallies up towards the 20 exponential moving average in order to sell or buy. So let's look at copper. Copper has basically done nothing. It tried to rally, broke down again, and I think it is only a matter of time now before we, well, it is so difficult to say for this uh, for this commodity. Because everything, every time you think that it's going to roll over, it rallies. And at this point, we're just trading sideways. Technical indicators for this are looking more bearish. We're still overbought. The CCI is flat, the stochastic has crossed the signal line, and the MACD is going to cross the signal line. So it is indicating that we're heading towards the 20 exponential at 3.3. But until we do, it is it's all nearly impossible to trade this. And uh, most likely just wait until a pullback, find resistance, support, and then buy this. That is probably the best idea for uh, this market. So let's look at gold, because that is more interesting. As you can see, uh, yesterday I said that we were going to have a major pullback, and we did. We are just seeing more of the same. So rally up towards the 50, pullback. Rally up towards the 50, pullback. Major rally above the 50, major pullback. So you can see that the 50 moving average is absolutely a massive hurdle for gold to get through. And I still think that 
my analysis of gold not breaking to the significant upside this year is going to hold. So if you look at this triangle here, we have major support underneath, major resistance above, even though we managed to break the 50. We would run into this trend line here and get rejected. If we manage to break the 200 moving average, we run into the support line and then we rally. So what I expect to happen here is that we'll just stay in within this area here until we get into the corner and then we are forced to basically break to the upside or the downside. This will most likely be in January or February next year, uh, where we also expect more stimulus, more um, I think the more government spending and interaction of uh, the central bank of the United States. So that will push this market significantly higher. But you can see that we could sell it here and we could buy it here. Sell, buy, sell, buy. And that is a probability for this market. So let's look at silver. It is uh, very similar. We uh, rallied above the 50 broke below and we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are looking at dreadful for silver. So we are most likely going back towards this level at 22.55. And if that breaks, we're heading all the way down to the 200 moving average. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements for silver and we can see that we find major support here at 25 22.89. Uh, and then ultimate uh, support here at 20.83. So at this point, we are mostly going to roll over to the first Fibonacci retracement and even better to the second. And then there is a plausible buy-in for silver with a stop loss right underneath the 200 moving average if this were to break. So that is basically what I'm waiting for. We have a very similar triangular shape here in in the, in silver we have a major uh, resistant line here which we tried to break yesterday got rejected and at this stage we are most likely going to test this lower support line and that is also exactly at the uh, around the not exactly but around the first Fibonacci retracement so Roll over from here down towards this 22 level and then we'll go up and then we'll probably break out some uh, probably at the end of December, the beginning of, of January. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has absolutely fallen apart today. We have found some support here at 989. But these technical indicators are indicating that we are going significantly lower for the, from for this market. So if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, take the lows here to the highs, we can see that we found support at the first Fibonacci retracement. The second is here at 966. And the last one is here at 936. So we'll see whether or not we'll fall all the way down to the 61.8. The 50, 50 moving average will travel this way and will act as major support as well. So this is probably the target, but the lower this gets, the basically the buyer better, the cheaper it gets, the better the buying opportunity. So no interest in basically shorting this. I am a buyer when it gets low enough. So let's look at Pallium. So we have broken down quite significantly, but not enough. We are still trading within these highs and we are trading within these very lows. We're still right in the middle. So when we break these lows here and head towards these uh, the lower uh, support level, then if this holds, then you probably could buy this. If we get to this um, uh, the resistance line here, you could technically sell it. So sell, buy, but at this point we're right in the middle, even though these technical uh, these technical indicators are also showing that we are most likely going lower. But let's look at aluminium, which was a fairly good trade today. So 
we entered the market yesterday around this area, right above the 20 um, moving exponential moving average, and then we we uh, gapped up and rallied quite significantly, nearly two percent. So we gave back some of those gains, and it is um, it is mixed where we are going now. The CCI is very bullish. The RSI is also fairly bullish, but the MACD and the stochastic are have not turned around. So this was a very good trade. Uh, we left it around here, and um, and the reason why I left it was because I was not one hundred percent certain that we would rally all the way to this top. We could see this turn around back towards the twenty, and then you get another try for the very highs. So we'll see basically what happens at this point. I am waiting for another run back towards the 20 in order to buy this to the very highs. So let's look at nickel. As you can see, we have rallied significantly to 16.7 and then gave back the, its gain. So this is a market that is, it is not a good idea to enter this. We need a pullback towards the 20 or the 50 in order to enter this market. So. It is too risky to buy. It is too. Um, it is not a good idea to sell because, well, it can rally from here, so you get stuck. So I would just stay away from this until it basically opens the opportunity for a uh, buying opportunity around the twenty exponential moving average. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied significantly, and this is looking really, really, really impressive, this market. We are trading above the 15, 20 and the 50, and we are basically closing above those as well. If we get another candlestick here, a green candlestick, and that is a massive uh, opportunity to buy to these very highs. So we are up nearly 4% today, or above 4% today. Technical indicators are turning around for sugar, so... This is a plausible buy-in at this stage. The people that basically bought it here did a major, major trade today. So, but this is a very encouraging sign that we are going to test these previous highs again. So let's look at cotton. We can see that we have rallied yet again today. This was a market I was supposed to enter, but I got too late. Um, so. Uh, we are we ran all the way up to 0.72 and uh, then we found uh, resistant but at this stage i think that we are going to these very highs technical indicators for cotton are looking very good and uh, there's a lot of room to the upside so uh, if we break down towards the 20 exponential uh, ex exponential again then there's a possible buy in um, but at the stage this rally has gone out of my hands at least or this trade has. So let's look at cocoa. So we continue falling, and um, at this point, it is becoming interesting where we are actually going. So we look at a Fibonacci retracement. We have passed the first one. We are uh, trading underneath the 20 exponential. We're heading towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement, and we have found some uh, support there. If that breaks, we're heading towards the 50 moving average at 2.48, and uh, that should be quite a lot of support. So uh, when we find support here, I expect around this area here, it will most likely turn around and head towards the upside again. So we had a massive rally, broke down, and it is quite normal that we go to the half of this rally before turning around. And as you can see, we are closing into the half or the 50 Fibonacci retracement. So we may see a rally as well from here, but it is to be seen. However, these technical indicators are absolutely dreadful. So it will probably take a few days in order to confirm that we are starting to rally again. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we have rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential. I was uh, thinking about buying into this, but no. I don't like rallies up towards the 20 exponential. I like the ones that, for example, in sugar, where you break the 20 and the 50 and then stop above it. But this could be just a, a rally up towards the 20 exponential and then just a breakdown the next day. 
Technical indicators for wheat aren't looking uh, promising. However, we need to break the 20, we need to break the 50, and then trade above that in order to confirm that we are ready to go higher in this market. Otherwise, this is just a um, fake rally, and then we're heading back towards the 200. Mm -hmm.